But today I'm working with Ace. He'll be going home this week. I've had him, uh, it'll be 60 days. I've had him two months. I want to show you a little bit about him going home, what he's like, what he's doing. If you remember right, when I he first came in, as soon as I'd go in the stall with him, he'd try to jump out of the stall. So since then, we've done a lot of groundwork. He's just a yearling. So mainly what our goals were was to get him so that we could do some groundwork, that he would lead, halter. He, was, he wouldn't lead when he came in. Uh, pick up his feet, basically everything that you need a horse to do so you can do general care and maintenance. He's still a little bit overreactive to the lunge whip, but in general, when I tick and ask him to go, he will go. I use the fence to change directions. Good boy. I lunge different than a lot of people because I'm trying to get the horse to work off of his back end towards the maneuvers that we're going to want to do. So a lot of the things that you see me do are different than what traditionally people do when they're lunging. I want the horse to work off of his back end and turn on his back end. I never, I never disengage the back end. If you want to see more about that and how I lunge, I'll put a link to a video up top. It's pretty useful for getting the horse to work off of his back end. And also with this horse, I use this a lot to work his feet as far as to pick up his feet because when I was picking up his feet in the beginning, he kept wanting to walk. He never really pulled him away, but he wanted to walk off. And we've made a lot of accomplishment there. I'll show you in just a minute, picking his feet up. We also did some trailer loading Got him where he'd lead into the trailer. Now let's bring him in and work his feet just a little bit. Come on. Come on, good boy. So let's pick your feet up. Let's see how you do. This is the foot that he's been giving me the most trouble. He tends to want to put a lot of weight on this foot when I ask him to pick it up. Now we're getting better. Put a little pressure right there and pick it up and hold it up. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Get this back foot here. Gotten really nice with his feet. Took him a little bit to learn how to balance himself when I picked his feet up. He never did really try to be bad or pull it away or kick or anything like that. And a lot of that is because of the steps that I took to prepare him. But it take, did take him a little bit of time to learn how to balance himself. And for that, it's mostly just a lot of repetition and giving him a chance to do it. Give him a, giving him a chance to learn how. Let's turn him around. So you can see him, we'll do the other two feet. Come on. Good boy. In the process of doing it this way, he learns how to ground tie, learns how to stand nice for the farrier. Tap on it with my knife just to get it to let him feel like he's being handled a little bit. Like if you're driving nails. This knife that I'm using, that's a horseman's pocket knife. I'll put a link to it up top. I really like this knife. It's made by Case. It has one blade and then one hoof pick. It's nice being able to have a hoof pick on me all the time. Good boy. It's nice being able to have a hoof pick on me all the time. I'm not sure what happened, but my audio dropped out at the end of this video. 
uh, when I was doing my closing. But uh, what I'm saying here is I'll put a link up top to uh, the video of when I first started working him if you'd like to see that. And until next time, thank you for watching.